Library of Heaven's Path. Chapter 38, Reprise Bell. It was a scene of chaos in Hongtian Pavilion. What happened? I have barely been away for a while and such a sight awaited my return. In a room, an elderly was staring coldly at the kneeling manager Wu. He was the mastermind behind Hongtian Pavilion, Elder Hong Hao. Elder, it is like that. The grandson of Elder Shang Chen, Shang Bin, has been here, manager Wu didn't dare to conceal anything and disclosed everything that had happened. This included the affair which he swapped the drunk immortal with Green Crag Brew. Wu Zhou, how dare you? After hearing Wu Chu's words, Elder Hong Hao's face darkened and he angrily sent a kick towards him. Peng. Manager Wu was immediately sent flying backward. His face paled as he vomited mouthful after mouthful of blood. Elder, spare me. I do not dare hope to be forgiven for my crimes, but that fellow is even viler. To expose all of these in public and causing the reputation of our Hongtian pavilion to be ruined, he obviously disregards you completely. Oof. After doing such shameful things, you still expect others not to talk about them? Elder Hong Hao's face looked hostile, as though a violent storm was gathering on it. I. Manager Wu trembled uncontrollably. Changing the contents of the dishes to earn more profits was a decision he made at his own discretion. He thought that he had concealed it perfectly. Yet, he was exposed by that young man in public. Naturally, he felt great resentment against him. I'll give you five days to settle this problem thoroughly. I want the negative impacts to be reduced to the bare minimum. If so, I can consider not to pursue the matter of your corruption. Otherwise, don't even dream of getting away alive. Elder Hong Hao's eyes were cold, like blizzard at night. Standing up, he asked, also, what is the name of that fellow? Is he a teacher of the academy? If he had informed me discreetly, I might have rewarded him with a sum of fortune, but he chose to cause trouble in public instead, soiling the reputation of my Hongtian pavilion. I will have a good look at him tomorrow to see the one who gave him such guts. Bellowing furiously, a savage aura filled the surroundings. It felt like a frontal assault by a wave of frost, causing one to shiver uncontrollably despite the warm weather. Fighter 7 Dan Tongxian Realm This elder Hong Hao was a Tongxian Realm expert. It was no wonder that he was able to be for the position of the principal. Just his level of cultivation itself was already astonishing. It? It is Zhang Xian Lishi. Manager Wu quickly said. Zhang Xian? The one who was the last in the teacher qualification examination? Elder Hong Hao was taken aback. Hongtian Academy had never had a single teacher scoring at the very bottom of the teacher qualification examination throughout its centuries of history since its inception. Thus, even a person like Elder Hong Hao had heard of Zhang Xian's name. That's him, Manager Wu nodded his head. A trash would actually dare to trample on the dignity of Hongtian Pavilion? Excellent. Clenching his fist, a cold glint flashed across his eyes. A heavy, murderous intent emanated from Elder Hong Hao. If the other party was a star teacher or an influential figure in the academy, he might have some hesitation over punishing him. However, since he was a trash, then, don't blame him for being heartless. Sigh, how troublesome. Returning back to his dwelling, Zhang Xian massaged the center of his eyebrows. He would have never thought it possible for so much trouble to evolve from just a simple meal. Forget it, there's no use pondering over it. I better spend my time thinking about how I can break into Pig's U realm. Quickly, he dumped all excessive thoughts to the back of his head. Despite being a transcender, he knew that in this world, power reigns over might. Only with sufficient power would the problems of one cease to be. He was currently at Dingli Realm Pinnacle and to break through, he would need the cultivation techniques of Fighter 6 Den. However, an ordinary teacher didn't have the qualification to browse through the 6 Den cultivation techniques of the academy. 
they could jot down a copy of it only with the approval of an elder. In the previous examination, he only had the strength of a fighter 3 Dan. If he were to rush to an elder to ask for a 6 Dan cultivation technique now, he might end up being researched like a guinea pig. Many troubles would grow out of it. Furthermore, even with the approval of the other party, with just one copy, he was still unable to cultivate. Based on the first five dans of Hongtian 9 dan formula, this cultivation technique possessed too many flaws. Without the cross-references from numerous other cultivation techniques to seek the correct cultivation method, there wouldn't be any results in his training even if he were to train non-stop for several years. To him, the most pressing matter at hand was to seek a huge pile of fighter 6 dan cultivation techniques and draw comparisons among them to deduce the correct cultivation method. On, I've heard that quite a bit of trading is done in Tianxian Royal City, and cultivation techniques are one of the goods that are being traded. It would solve quite a bit of problem if I am able to purchase a few 6 dan cultivation techniques. Suddenly, upon recalling something, Zhang Xian's eyes lit up. Hong Tian Academy was located in the capital of Tianxian Kingdom, Tianxian Royal City. Tianxian Royal City was an extraordinarily prosperous city. With numerous large commercial cities in here, all kinds of trade were being carried out. Six Dan cultivation techniques might be rare, but it was still sold in numerous shops here. Furthermore, to Zhang Xian, there wasn't really a need for him to buy them. As long as he managed to flip through them, it would be as good as gaining possession of the secret manual. With the Library of Heaven's Path, the quality and price of the secret manual no longer matter. As long as there was sufficient quantity, he would be able to derive the correct path out of the innumerable errors, and the Heaven's Path divine art would be automatically compiled, thus allowing him to cultivate swiftly. It is still early. Let's see if I am able to get a few books today. At this point, Zhang Xian stopped hesitating and stood up immediately. The sun had just set and the nightlife had just begun. Since he was free anyway, it was a good opportunity to stroll through the commercial cities. Perhaps, he might even find some useful items. Tianyu Commercial City was the largest trading market in Tianxian City. It was said that as long as one possessed sufficient money, he was able to buy everything he desired here. Stepping into the market, Zhang Xian felt his vision blurring from the sight of the innumerable goods laid out before him. His previous self was just an ordinary teacher. His wages were low and he was treated poorly. As a result, he had never been to such a grand place before. Thus, Zhang Xian found himself incapable of identifying most of the goods on sale here. There were many small vendors in the commercial city. A vendor would sit in front of each of these booths and all kinds of goods were laid out before them. Weapons, pills, herbs, armor, beast skin, beast pills. Almost everything that was required for cultivation could be found here. Just that there were too many of them. It was difficult to ascertain which of them were of superior quality and which of them were of inferior quality. I may be unable to discern between the good and the bad, but the Library of Heaven's Path may be capable of it. Such a thought flashed through his mind. Thus, Zhang Xian immediately walked over to a booth. This gentleman here, what are you looking for? I have everything you need here, and I guarantee your satisfaction with my goods. The vendor quickly welcomed his presence. I'll just take a casual look. Zhang Xian smiled. He casually picked up an object in the booth. It was a circular bell of average size. This bell is specially forged by a blacksmith and has extraordinary abilities. It is on sale for just 50 gold coins. I can assure you that the price is fair. I offer the very same price to everyone passing by. If you're interested in it, I can give you a special discount. It'll be yours for just 20 gold coins. The vendor coaxed. Zhang Xian didn't respond to his words. Rather, he twirled the bell around his hand. Wang. The library in his mind jolted and a book appeared in it. Reprise bell. 
it is able to generate the same tune over and over again, causing one to feel dizzy-headed. It is effective against Fighter 1 Dan. It is created by a 1MO craftsman of Blue Cloud Workshop. It is made of Wujin metal. Flaws? No. 1. The duration required for the reprise sound to take effect is long, requiring at least an incense's time, making it an ineffective weapon in battle. No. 2. It doesn't differentiate in its attacks, the wielder will take damage from it as well. 15 minute. Indeed, it is possible. Zhang Xian smiled. It didn't matter even if he was unfamiliar with all these items. As long as he touched them with his hands and picked them up, the library would compile a corresponding book on it. Furthermore, this book detailed the history, composition, and all kinds of flaws of the item in question comprehensively. With just a single look, it was apparent to see if the item was valuable or not. Those who were unaware of the truth might just buy it with the vendor's previous offer of 20 gold coins. Only by looking at the contents recorded in the book did Zhang Xian realize that this toy wasn't even worth 2 gold coins. What specially forged by a blacksmith? Blue Cloud Workshop is an organization that specializes in the production of fake goods. Furthermore, 1MO craftsmen are the ones with the worst craftsmanship of them all. Those who specialized in the creation of goods and handicraft were termed as craftsmen. They were classified into 9MO, with 1MO being the worst and 9MO being the best. How valuable could a creation of a 1MO craftsman be? With the library here, I won't have to worry about purchasing fake goods. Zhang Xian chuckled. This world was similar to his previous one. With authentic goods come imitations. Given his previous ability of discernment, needless to say, the authentic ones, he might not even be able to tell the strengths and weaknesses of an imitation. However, with the assistance of the library, he didn't have to worry about it anymore. Just that, he needed to come into contact with the item for a book to be compiled on it. The number of items in this market total up to at least 10 million. If he had to touch every single one of them, wouldn't he tire himself to death? Besides, if he were to just look at the goods, he wouldn't attract much attention. However, if he touched everything his sight caught, it probably wouldn't take long for the security enforcement team of the commercial city to think of him as a lunatic and drive him out of the city.